G'day guys, X-Ray Racer 1 here. We are up to part 3 of the X-Ray X1 build series. In part 3 we will be going on to the steering arm assembly or steering knuckle or steering upright, whichever way you want to call it, whatever you want, wish to call it. Um, now I'm glad I actually decided to do this separately um, from like the main sus front suspension um, because it is actually um, I'm going to tell you right now while it is not difficult this part it does require some patience and you'll see why in a second um, and again as I say if there are multiple of the same thing I'll do one off camera and then I'll do the other on camera. So I have here the left steering arm on. Goes together quite nicely as you can see. Got the suspension, the spring under there. Um, it's like a friction uh, setup. It's just the spring. You can use um, x ray so you can use different oils uh, to change the uh, dampening characteristics. Um, so yeah. Um, so what we need to do, first off, we have our steering arm and shaft, uh, wheel shaft for the wheel wheels to go onto. We'll thread it through. Now, we need a 1.5 millimeter driver and a set screw. The set screw will go into the shaft and we don't do it up all the way because the uh, kingpin has to go through the both the steering arm and the shaft. Okay, now this is where it gets really interesting this part. So we need some needle nose pliers. Don't take it the wrong way because these are pink. They're they were the only ones that had in the hobby shop. <laughs> All right, now we need an E-clip. Now I want you to be very careful when you're doing this uh, with E-clips. When you do it, make sure that you do it over ta over the table, not on the edge here. Do it over because sometimes the E-clip will go pew and fly off into no man's land and you're on the floor for an hour looking for this tiny little E-clip. And trust me, they are very small on this kit, and well, in this section anyway. So very carefully, snap it on, like so. Now it gets continues to get interesting. What we do now is there are nine uh, shims that are needed for this part of the assembly. So first off, we start with two. What these shims do is they adjust the ride height. So what we'll do is we put two shims on and then we will very carefully, I'm sorry if you can't see this on camera, but uh, I've got to be very careful with this part here. So now what we need is five, so two, three, four, five shims. So now we will start carefully putting them on. And I just dropped one. There it is, very lucky. Okay, I'll try to use my pliers. That's two, three, four, and five. Okay. So now what we'll do is the steering arm, slide it through, and then we will need another shim. So again with the pliers, very carefully. Okay, so this is what I mean, you need to be patient. 
Okay, so we'll slide that through. Now we need a spring. It's a very small spring too. Be very careful. Slide it on. We'll have it, hold your finger underneath here to hold the kingpin. And then with your thumbnail, put another shim on. Okay, use your thumbnail to hold the spring and shim down while you get the e-clip. And very carefully, snap it on. Okay, so that's how it looks, folks. You've got the e-clip and the washer and the spring, or shim rather. And if we look here, you can see there's a whole heap of uh, shims. You can move them up and down, and what that'll do is that'll adjust the ride height of the steering arm and shaft. All right, so as you can see, we, you can't see it actually, the shaft will actually move uh, up and down. So, as you can see, got the suspension movement there. Now, you can put different, uh, uh, X-ray say you can use, like I said, to use different oils to change the uh, dampening characteristics. Um, later on, what I'm going to do off camera is I'm going to put a little bit of um, um, fact team associated factory team green slime on now final part is this little ball stud two millimeter driver we will now put it into steering arm on the outermost hole like that so it's like I said, it, it's uh, fairly involved, but and it is also it can be very frustrating. So take your time when doing it. So that's the steering arms. So that's virtually the front suspension complete. Uh, there's no oil filled shocks or anything like that. So that's the end of part three. Part four, we will start with the rear motor pod. Stay tuned everyone.